Republicans should not make it about the president's son. If you do that, or his the brother, if you do that, the American people will rally because we protect presidential families. Mm. It's about the president himself. And that's a great point. I think at, at times the GOP is raising against a, a sort of bar with the mainstream media, twisting and phrasing it as such. But then it's right. all the more important that the GOP uses phrasing that can't be distorted exactly. to that point. Hi, it's Alonzo Bowden with another Rebel HQ TYT video. And today I'm a bit confused by what's going on at Fox News. Now, first of all, they always talk about the mainstream media. Media. The mainstream media are the bad guys, yet they brag about being the most watched television news. So wouldn't that make them the mainstream media? I'm already lost. Then Ari makes the mistake of telling the truth on Fox News. So of course, that's going to lead to a debate. So Kaylee gets mad and tells us that the mainstream media is twisting and phrasing and not covering a story that they're not how do you twist and phrase something you're not even saying? It's and the mainstream media do, but Fox will do that. That I'm confused. I wish House Republicans would listen to Ari because that hearing yesterday was about Hunter Biden. It was about was the about news censorship. story. It was about it was about a private company being able to say what's on their platform. It wasn't about free speech. So and if the House GOP wants to hold hearings about Twitter and Hunter Biden in the New York Post, they will lose the next election. That's why Democrats did better than most people thought they would do in the midterms because they're focusing on the base and these culture war issues that quite frankly it's not working for them at the ballot box. Actually, can there, I, there, is, there is evidence. It's right if here. Joe Biden can received, I already one page if Joe staff Biden report received 10 from oversight committee? If, if Joe Biden received, if, which is exactly that's not what evidence. the evidence should. Next, Kaylee tosses it to Marie. Now try and follow me here because I think I was able to follow them. Marie was agreeing with Ari that it was a mistake for the Republicans in the House to go after this Hunter Biden story and this Twitter stuff because there's no evidence and it's not a real thing and the voters don't want to hear about it. So Kaylee attacks Marie for agreeing with Ari and then Ari jumps in on the attack of Marie who's going along what we, he initially said and the... the I'm, I'm, okay, who's the bad guy here? It, obviously, the mainstream media. But they're not even in this story. Well, that's the bad part. You see how this works? Circular, is it circular logic? Or is, I'm dazed and confused. So, I think. Yes, it was. If, when the if, FBI is having weekly meetings. Kaylee, let me finish. You spoke. Let me finish. I think that the House GOP cannot help themselves. Because there is no evidence that anyone has seen that this involved national security or that Joe Biden somehow compromised national security. And what Joe Biden said in the State of the Union this week, he talked about inflation. He talked about record job growth. He talked about record low unemployment. He talked directly to the American people about the issues in their pocketbooks, at their dinner tables that they care about. Now, Marie, here's your first mistake. You can never go on Fox News and say anything good about Joe Biden. You spoke about his State of the Union speech and how he was talking to people about things people want to hear about inflation and jobs and low unemployment, et cetera, et cetera. So there's your first mistake. Now you're under attack. And then you said that the House Republicans did something that there's no reason to do, that there's no evidence. Since when have they needed evidence at Fox News when they're attacking somebody? If allegedly we heard an unnamed source, these are the ways they operate. How dare you bring the truth in? Are you kidding? Whenever they're challenged on the truth, you have to remember, Marie, it's not a news network, it's an opinion network. That's the cover story. Didn't you hear that reasonable people wouldn't believe anything Tucker Carlson said? That's their number one guy, and that was his lawyer who said it. <laughs> 31 pages. Have you read the staff report from the Oversight Committee? From Republicans. Have you read a political it, document, also, Have you read the That's political, political document? Docu I have, called? actually. You well, have. Well, then you would know that there were 150 flag transactions from the Biden family for the Treasury Department, and the Biden administration will not hand them over, despite it being... What about all the Trump theory. family? The best part of this, and there are a lot of good parts, but the best part is that they proved Marie's point because they couldn't help themselves. They had to attack her over this Hunter Biden laptop or Twitter or whatever nonsense they're trying to investigate where there is no story, where the whole story is led by a big if and the source is the New York Post. The New York Post, for God's sake. They proved her point. They cannot help but attack. God forbid she brings up the Trump family and how much money they made and all the national security that they put at risk, etc., etc. I noticed that's where the video cut off. You know who cut off that video? at that point the mainstream media i have no doubt they're in the edit room they're everywhere mainstreaming